let's begin. First, in a large bowl, take 3 cups of water. Add 1 cup or 150 grams of black urad dal. Then add 1 third cup or 50 grams of red kidney beans or rajma. In a separate bowl, take 1 cup of water. Add 1 third cup of chana dal. Let both the dals soak overnight. After about 8 hours of soaking, the dal is now ready to be cooked. Take 6 cups of water in a pressure cooker and cook the dal on a medium high flame until you get 7 to 8 whistles. While the urad dal is boiling, in another pan, take 3 cups of water and add chana dal. Let it come to a boil, then cover it and lower the flame. After 15 minutes, you will see that the dal is cooked properly. You can press the dal to check whether it's cooked or not. Turn off the flame. Now we have to grind it. You can use a blender or you can mash it just like I did. You can see how easy it will be if your dal is cooked properly. After 8 whistles, you will see that the dal is properly cooked. Take 2 cups of dal into the grinder. Add 1 cup of chilled water into it. Remember that the dal is hot, so handle it carefully. Grind it for a minute so that you can get a fine paste like this. In the same pressure cooker, mix the grinded black dal and chana dal. Heat again on high flame for 10 minutes. Then cover the pressure cooker and keep it on a low flame for 15 minutes. Keep stirring in between. After 25 minutes, the dal will reduce, then turn the flame off. We will be using garlic, ginger, green chilies, onions, tomatoes, and coriander. In this entire recipe. For our whole spices we'll be using black cardamom, bay leaves, cinnamon sticks and some cloves. Take two tablespoons of mustard oil, heat it till it's light in color. Add the whole spices and roast them for about two minutes. Add finely chopped green chilies. Cook it for a minute. Add the onion paste and cook it well for 2 minutes. Add ginger and garlic paste and cook for a minute. Make sure that you are cooking on a medium flame to avoid burning. Add the puree tomatoes. Add salt and keep cooking the tomatoes till the oil separates. Now let's add our ground spices. Red chilli powder, turmeric powder, dry mango powder, 
coriander powder, cumin powder, black pepper powder. Cook them well on a low heat for 2 minutes. You may add a little water if you think your masala is too dry to prevent the spices from burning. Add a handful of finely chopped fresh coriander. Adding coriander at this stage will make sure that the entire dal has its flavor. Now that the masala is ready, start adding the dal into it. Add 1 cup of water. If your dal is too thick, add more water to get to the right consistency. Lower the heat and let it absorb all the flavors for 5 minutes. Then cover it again on low heat. Remove the lid and add a tablespoon of butter. Mix well. Add dry fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. Some garam masala. Mix them well. Cover with the lid and turn the flame off. Now add fresh cream and make sure that the flame is off so that the cream does not split. So there we have it, Chef Singh's Dal Makhani at home. Thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such recipes.